How's it going, guys? And welcome to the first episode of our Fallout 4 uh, Let's Play, I guess you could call it. I have never uh, played a Fallout game on my channel. I am very excited. The only Fallout game I have ever played is Fallout 4. I've heard lots of good things about 3 and New Vegas, New Vegas especially. Um, I did post a poll a couple weeks ago asking what you guys would want to see me play next now that we've finished the first season of our uh, Road to the Show series. We can kind of put that one on the back burner a little bit and just flip-flop in between this series and uh, that series. And in the poll, I had uh, Assassin's Creed 2, Bully Scholarship Edition, Red Dead Redemption. Um, for those of you... Who have been around long enough yes it would be the third time i'd start that series on my channel um or the other option was fallout either three new vegas or four and the last option was to just go back to sports only content and it came down to a tie for the longest time between assassin's creed 2 and fallout but then I just looked a little bit ago today as of the time of recording this and Fallout did have the lead. Um, and I got a comment for four because it just got an update not too long ago. I got a comment for New Vegas, but I had a buddy of mine. He said he wanted to watch me play through Fallout 4. And uh, my mother also said she wanted, me to, she wanted to watch me play through Fallout 4. So I took their comments into suggestion as well even though they didn't actually comment on the poll i took their comment into consideration and we're doing fallout 4 um and if you have not noticed this is on pc i don't know if i mentioned it i've tried to do this intro a few times now so um i apologize if i'm kind of rambling but i've never recorded on pc before oh it's been a long time and it was a it was a pain in the ass to set up back then and it was a pain in the ass to set up now. I think I have everything figured out. Um, I'm, I have no idea what I'm doing when it comes to this. Um, so I have it. It should be good for you guys on your end. Um, but on my end, I have to play in windowed borderless mode. But for some reason, it doesn't fill up like a whole like a majority of the screen it's like a little tiny box even though i've set the i've set the things to um native resolution i've messed with the resolutions and all this i've i've looked it up i tried everything and it won't work but i want to play this on pc because i just i feel like fallout is i have more fun with fallout on pc and if we run into like any glitches or anything like that where an NPC is like stuck and I can't interact with them, then I can use console commands to reset them so that way we can move on with a conversation. Because one time I was playing this, I interacted with Sheffield and Diamond City. I was trying to give him a Nuka Cola, but he was like glitched. He was like sitting halfway into a building, so I couldn't interact with him. So I had to reset him in order to give him a Nuka Cola. And as far as I can tell, I don't think console commands are on actual consoles. I think that's like a PC thing. So if I ran into something like that on a console, I'd kind of be SOL as far as I know. But, and also I think it'll look better on PC. I don't have any mods or anything. This is vanilla. Um, this is just vanilla game. But my main thing with this episode guys it's not going to be super long it's just going to be going through character creation getting through the intro part of the story and then we'll wrap it up when we exit the vault um so i would assume maybe 30 40 minutes tops i don't know how much editing will be in this one as well um but my main thing from you guys is if you're watching this and have gotten this far into my ramble um, please let me know how the game audio sounds how my audio sounds i listened to a test and it seems like everything's good um, audio wise. Um, so I just, I'm really iffy with this uh, recording off like my actual desktop instead of like off of just like my console. It's a whole, I don't know how to explain it. I'm terrible with this stuff and OBS and all that stuff. So just let me know if it looks good, sounds good um, and all that jazz. I'd really appreciate it. But. We are going to be starting this series now. Um, 
I did I do have all the add-ons installed I have ne I've beaten this game on PS4 and I've beaten all like the DLC stuff on PS4 um, and the last time I played this game on PS4 and actually beat it was whenever Nuka World came out so like 2016 I think and then I've played this game off and on on PC but I've always just used mods and stuff just to dick around, you know, be invincible and all that stuff. Um, but another thing is I went through a creation club and they had like a bunch of free stuff that you could get like weapon paint jobs and stuff. And I don't know how much I will utilize those, but I went through all these individual tabs here and just, um, like downloaded or installed or whatever you want to call it everything that was free to me and then i guess a lot of this new stuff that was featured in the update is like creation club stuff like new missions and whatnot um but yeah so there are no like mods from here there's no mods like in the base game or whatever you want to call it i'm not very savvy when it comes to mods i've installed mods through this which is just like like community made mods you know i i know there's like other mods you can do as well but um anyway you guys don't care about all that you just want me to get into into it um whoops so yeah like i said let me know how it all sounds um i listened to a test sounded good but I don't know. You guys be the judge. Let me know. I'd greatly appreciate it. But without further ado, guys, let's jump in to a new, I was going to say career, a new save here and uh, see how it goes. Bethesda Game Studios presents Fallout 4 War War never changes In the year 1945, my great-great-grandfather, serving in the army, wondered when he'd get to go home to his wife and the son he'd never seen. He got his wish when the U.S. ended World War II by dropping atomic bombs on Hiroshima and Nagasaki. The world awaited Armageddon. Instead, something miraculous happened. We began to use atomic energy not as a weapon, but as a nearly limitless source of power. People enjoyed luxuries once thought the realm of science fiction. Domestic robots, fusion-powered cars, portable computers. Then, in the 21st century, people awoke from the American dream. Years of consumption led to shortages of every major resource. The entire world unraveled. Peace became a distant memory. It is now the year 2077. We stand on the brink of total war. And I am afraid. For myself. For my wife. For my infant son. Because if my time in the army taught me one thing. It's that war. War never changes. Uh, 
All right. Classic little intro. I know there's like a war You're gonna never knock changes. Dead at the veterans hall tonight, hon. You think? Absolutely. Now get ready and stop hogging the mirror. Right. So yeah, uh I know that in the other um I know that in the other games fallout 3 and new vegas i'm not sure about the other ones but i believe ron perlman is the narrator for that little intro bit so i know a lot of people were kind of upset that uh he wasn't for uh the announce the announcer the narrator for this one um we're just gonna try and go through this quick here i think i do that one I a haircut yesterday i did not but thanks um they don't really have a brown like that's like too bright of a brown i mean chestnut probably working for me um type i'm trying i don't i can't really make uh the fallout characters look a whole lot like me but i'll just make him look as close but if as you guys know if you're if you're relatively familiar with the channel you think my nose is too big if you're relatively new uh what am i trying to say i'm getting so distracted if you guys are relatively familiar with my channel if you've been around for a while uh, you know uh that this is not me this is everett scott he has moved into the post-apocalyptic world of fallout um, I already did that. Um, so yeah, uh, type smooth, make him a smooth skin. I think that's a term from, uh, this game, make him pale. Cause I am pale. Um, give him a beard. Um, you know what? Let's just. Let's do survivalist. Let's do that. Mustache, huh? It's a beard, dummy. Um. So yeah, I think that's it for that. Let's go back. Extras. Remove all. We don't need any of that junk. Um, can you go back, please? Thank you. Um. Uh, sex? Thanks. Yes, please. Turn, big guy. Name that movie. Um, I don't think I meant to do this. Um, you know what? Just remove all her extra stuff, too. She don't need it. And then, I guess, switch back. Slide in here. Um, so, yeah, then Everett Scott, he's pretty muscular. He always has some muscle. He's a pretty thin, muscly dude. I wouldn't say all muscle, muscle, muscle. Let's do that. And then, um, I think that's it. Color of those eyes again. Did I switch them to blue? Okay. So yeah, I think he's done. We get we get a chance to change him again later if we want. Um, yeah, first things first. Get this turned off. I turned off the music. Yeah, I turned the music all the way off. Well, I guess I probably shouldn't do that. Let's you know what? Let's default it. Um, I don't want to turn the radio off either because we need to use it. For certain points in the game and besides it doesn't do anything either it really doesn't because um, even if you turn the radio off all the way it'll still be like oh still play no need to get dressed twice very true war never changes <laughs> you got that right yeah you did all right so this blanket looks like it'd be hot as hell it looked like with the shine effect on it, it looks like it's like a leather blanket. We really need to get those vacation photos developed. Yeah, you might want to hurry up on that guy. Ah, 
broken again. Good old USA. And then nothing here. Close the door. Did we interact with anything in here? Nope. Close that. We just leave everything open. What's up, Sean? Oh, sorry, on the wrong side of the crib. Gucci, Gucci, goo. We're not going to play with the mobile or the mobile. It's mobile. Um, wonder what Sean will grow up to be. Gee, I wonder. <laughs> to think one day he's going to learn how to drive. Maybe. <laughs> He'll either be great at spelling or great at smashing blocks together. Or both. Can't wait to teach him to ride this. <laughs> the glove's a little big right now, but Sean will grow into it. Nah, I think those fists will fit in that baseball mitt fairly well. Should get this sign next time we're at the park. But we don't want anything to do with our son. Close the door. Out of sight, out of mind. Abraxo for all your cleaning needs. Nice. Another fine product of General Atomics International. Yeah, let Codsworth take care of it. Yeah, let him take care of it. Bye, Nora. Even though I never, I never refer to her that as that. Insta mash, fancy lad snack cakes, Blamco mac and cheese, expires in never. Well, hey, would you look at that? But yeah, I always try and like role play as like how I would deal with certain things, and the Nora would not be my wife's name. It would not be Nora. It'd be, well, I've, I've been, I watched the first two episodes of the fallout show looks nothing like her, but we'll say that Everett Scott, uh, got married to Lucy McLean from the fallout show. Cause he's ah, that big morning, of a beast. Thanks, Codsworth. Of course, sir. Sugar bombs. 100% daily value of sugar. Looks like the milk got delivered. Nice. Uh, never gonna find that dog. Close the door. Leaving all the doors open. Drink my coffee. Grognak the Barbarian in the Jungle of the Bat Babies. My oh, favorite. Sound like someone made a stick. You know, I was nervous at first, but Codsworth's really good with Sean. Yeah, he is. I thought you could interact with the globe. I guess not. You'd think I'd know. I just started playing a new save yes or earlier today. Hmm. More the same. Yeah. Um. Here we go. <laughs> How can someone so small drink so much? Get more sugar bombs plus Nuka Cola. Bread, cranberry juice, cake, two boxes, laundry soap, bleach, dish soap. It's probably that salesman. He comes for you every day. I'm busy. I'm looking at all my stuff. Coca Cola, ice cold. Saddle up Salisbury steak, graded A plus. Nice. I love me a good old Salisbury steak every now and then. It's a little early to be drinking. Yeah. Now who left those here? Yeah, who's smoking here, huh? Look at my Hello, car. It's badass. The door and he'll go away. I'm not done snooping around. I'm so proud of her. Hi, guy. I'm not done yet. Alright, I've looked at everything. Get the door. Good morning, Vault Tech calling. Vault Tech? Vault Tech? Remind me again. Why, we're about you, sir, and helping secure your future. You see, Vault Tech is the foremost builder of state of the art underground fallout shelters. Vaults, if you will. Luxury accommodations where you can wait out the horrors of nuclear devastation. You can't begin to know how happy I am to finally speak with you. 
I've been trying for days. It's a matter of utmost urgency, I assure you. Urgency? What's so important? Why, nothing less than your entire future. If you haven't noticed, sir, this country has gone to heck in a handbasket. If you'll excuse my language, the big kaboom is... It's inevitable, I'm afraid. And coming sooner than you may think. If you catch my meaning... Now, I know you're a busy fellow, so I won't take up much of your time. Time being a... Uh, mm -hmm, a precious commodity. I'm here today to tell you that because of your family service to our country, you have been pre-selected for entrance into the local vault. Vault 111. Enough space? But there's room for my entire family, right? Of course, of course. Minus your robot, naturally. In fact, you're already cleared for entrance. It's just a matter of verifying some information. Don't want there to be any holdups in the unforeseen event of <laughs> total atomic annihilation. <laughs> Won't take but a moment. Tell me more. Tell me more about this vault. Oh, it has all the amenities of the modern home, I assure you. Not to mention total protection from nuclear radiation and hostile mutants. A better future underground. It's not only our mission, it's our passion. Sure, let's do it. Splendid! Splendid! Now, uh, let's see. <clears throat> Alright, so name first. So we got Everett Scott. That's our boy, as you all know if you're familiar with the channel. Alright, now here's where... Charisma, bump that sucker up to eight. Gotta bump it up. Um, and then intelligence and perception need to be at least a four because I always get lock picking and uh, terminal boosts as like soon as I possibly can each time I get to the certain level. And charisma I just like because then you can um, get more experience. The higher your charisma... Um, it if like you get better success with uh, persuading and all that stuff and then it gives you an extra boost to your XP so you love that and then strength um, you know what I think we'll bump this down Can we do that at six uh, let's put that at five bump this back up to eight um, Endurance, let's make three, and then gives you this affects how much we can carry. And as you will definitely come to find out, I pick up absolutely everything in this game. Um, so definitely want to improve that. I don't do melee stuff though. Um, so I'm not worried about that. I just want my strength to be high for the carrying capacity. You know what? We'll lower that to four. And I think we'll put agility at two just so it's got a little boost to it. Perception. I think it has to be four to get the locksmith ability. Or perk, I guess. Um, and same with intelligence. And then... Actually, you know what? No, bump that down. Put that back up to five. I don't really care about... Um, I don't care about my ability to sneak. The only thing I like about agility is the higher your agility, the more shots you can take using vats. But... Um, yeah. But our perception being four, that gives us better accuracy in vats. So hopefully we won't need as many action points with it if that makes sense so um you know we'll bump that down just so they can both have a little notch to them we'll do that so let's do that wonderful that's everything uh, just gonna walk this over to the vault besides we get a book after we get out of the vault that we can give a automatic 
one boost to money. it. That's worth a little paperwork, right? For you and Sean, no price is too high. <laughs> Good answer. I have my moments. Mr. Scott, Sean has been changed, but he absolutely refuses to calm down. I think he needs some of that paternal affection you seem to be so good at. <laughs> you heard Codsworth. Go on. Huh. How'd you get on the floor, Mr. Bear? I missed that. How are the two most important men in my life doing? Spin the mobile a bit. He loves that. Wow. So fun. Hey, how's my little guy? What'd you Am close the door for? Home? Listen, after breakfast, I was thinking we could head to the park for a bit. Weather should hold up. Sounds fun. Yeah, sounds like fun. Sir, Mom, you should come and see this. Codsworth, what's wrong? Followed by, yes, followed by flashes, blinding flashes. Sounds of explosions. We're uh, trying to get confirmation. What? We seem to have lost contact with say? our affiliate stations. We do, oh, we no. do have, we do have coming in. That's um, confirmed reports. I repeat, confirmed reports of nuclear detonations in New York and Pennsylvania. Oh my God! We, we need to get to the vault now. I've got Sean. Let's go. Godsworth. Stay safe, buddy. And your family as well, sir. Oh, my. Dang it, Codsworth. I wish we could take you. We may be in a hurry, but we can still close the door. We're not savages. It's only the end of the world. Hurry up, Nora. I'm leaving you in the dust. Or, sorry, Lucy in this scenario. Because Everett Scott would, Everett Scott would land Lucy McLean from the Fallout show. He's he's that much of a G. Get out of here. We need to get in. We're on the list. Infant, adult male, adult female. Okay, go ahead. Thank you. You two, follow me. Too slow, dude. Who cares? We don't care what's gonna happen to them. I'm just kidding, that's mean. What's up, dude? Almost there. So we're gonna be okay. I love you. Both of you too. Oh good lord. Oh, God. oh good lord. There goes the there goes the hair on my head. Just singed it right off. We did it. We made it. We're okay. Everyone, please step off the elevator and proceed up the stairs in an orderly fashion. No need to worry, folks. We'll get everyone situated in your new home. Vault 111. I would wait for all of them, but they take they take a million years. How'd you guys get in here already? How'd you guys get in here already? Thanks. What Just now? Just follow the doctor here. He'll show you where to go. All right, you three. Follow me. See? This is our new home. Oh, you're gonna love it. It's down this. the hallway This right is one of our most advanced facilities. Not that the others aren't great, mind you. Dawn. Our home. Everything. How'd they get ahead of us? How, How long do you think we'll be down here? here? Oh, we'll be going over all that in orientation. Just a few medical items you have to get off the list as they come in. Prepared for the future, right?
Just step in here and put your vault suit on. Who's my little guy? I'm not going far. I'll just be over there. There he is. See? Daddy's not going far. All set? Just step inside and put on your vault suit. Hey, hon. Go ahead, hon. I'll take Sean with me. The pod will decontaminate and depressurize you before we head deeper in the vault. Just relax. Time for a whole new life. Resident secure. Occupant vitals normal. Procedure complete. In five, four, three, two, one. Manual override initiated. Biogenic. Oh, spooky. This is the one. Here. Hey, let me out. Oh, <clears throat> Hello, they can't hear me. What the hell? Wake up this morning, I get frozen, world ends, and my wife is dead and my son is gone. Where's the one, one reaction? Come on, come on, come on. Oh God. There it is. I'll find who did this and I'll get Sean back. I promise. Bye. Like, when you first play this, like, it's obviously shocking. You're like, wait, what the hell? He just shot my wife or just shot my husband or whatever. But after you've played it a lot, you're just kind of like, oh. Oh, no. God. Why would Vault do this? Yeah, we can't. We can't open up any of the others. So if we go to this little thing here. Yeah, we can see that all the occupants are deceased, except for us it says that it's unknown. Poor Mr. Russell. Alright. So we're going to stop in here first, pick up all these goodies, because like I said, I take absolutely everything. I believe those utility suits are in part of a uh, community creation or creation club or whatever. Yeah, now we can go through this room too and everybody that is in this room is deceased as well. So yeah, everybody who was frozen is dead, unfortunately. 
And my guy's still shivering. Okay, we can't go that way. Go this way. Ooh! Big bug. Yeah. Alright, put that sucker away. Nothing in there. Take the coffee cup. Take the stimmy. Grab that jazz. Alright. I'm not going to read through this stuff. If you want to read it, you can pause. I just like to check everything. Because um, sometimes messages will give you um, like a mission or whatever. So yeah, just some info there if you want to get some more lore about what's going on. Give me that. Here's my favorite line. Giant roaches? What the hell? <laughs> I just love the way he says, what the hell? What the hell? But he reacted to that better than I would have. If I saw a giant fucking cockroach, I'd be like, I'd probably shit myself because I'd be like, ugh, gross. Cockroaches are gross on their own. Imagine if they were freaking massive. I'm not a drinker myself, but I believe you can take those and turn them into, into mollies. Not the drugs, kids. Molotov cocktails. All the young kids, when they hear mollies, they think of drugs nowadays. I don't know if that's actually the case, but... Kind of just randomly talking here, if you can tell. Oh. That locker's a little glitch. It has two doors. Yeah, we gotta... Go here. Here's a memo. Top ten. And Red Menace is like a uh, Fallout version of Donkey Kong. So. There's a little cockroach. Cockroach, as Al Pacino says. Got zapped. I was waiting for him to get zapped. And we got you, you big guy. And then you. Is there another one? I swear there's another one in here. Ouch. That hurt. Electricity hurts. I could have sworn there was another rad roach that shows up in here, but maybe not. I know there's two outside this door. Simmer down. Freaking gross bugs. Let's get some water. Refuel. Replenish. Preserve cigarettes. I don't want to drink from that nasty sink. Nice. Coming back later for you. Nice, nice. Here we go. We got a 10 mil. What's in here? Pre war money? I take it. What happened here? Where is everyone? Got some stim packs, another gun, more ammo. Where are the glasses? There they are. All right, let's check out the overseer's terminal. So there's his instructions. Try it later. We've already looked through this stuff, but just force a habit, I always go through it again. Whoops. Yeah, so there's a little bit of a situation that happened down here 
people didn't stay happy for too long. Oop, got him. Got it, got it, got it. Frickin' MLG Pro sniping all these cockroaches. Taking all their meat so I can use it to cook. I don't believe I missed any of them. I did not. Go. Is this all that's left? Oh, I knew another one popped up. But we got some stuff we can loot. Give me that. Give me that. Whole bunch of stuff I don't actually need to take, but I'm going to take it anyway because I'm a hoarder in these games. I take everything. But I think, I think that's it. So I think, take a good old pit boy and we can bounce. Get the heck out of here. Pretty dusty. Alright, so this just gives us all our goodies. Put on those glasses. Because it gives us a boost to our perception. So our perception is now a 5. It was a 4. So, those glasses give us a boost. And then, weapons. We will unfavorite that. Unfavorite that. But we'll put that back there. And I don't have any rad away yet because I'd put that in my uh, negative key slot for favorites. So I wonder, does it actually tell you? It does tell you the date. Okay, I, I always wondered that because if you don't know, you find out that a lot of time has passed in just a little bit. So, oh, I should probably hit the button, shouldn't I? Bye, honey. All right. So now we get the chance to uh, change our stuff if we want, but I think we're okay. Um, yeah, we're we're fine. I didn't get. I didn't really get a choice there, lady. I kind of just had to choose Vault Tech. So yeah, now we get a whole bunch of like the uh, the missions from the new update and everything, all the Creation Club missions and everything. Plus, I think we get some of the DLC missions to pop up here at first too. But 
I'm not sure. You have to be a certain level to unlock some of them, I think. Like Far Harbor, I know you have to be a certain level to unlock that. There we go. We have Radaway now, so let's um, favorite that there. Just so that way we have it hot keyed. Here's another one. Did I pick up a grenade? No, I picked up Molotovs. All right, so now we just gotta go home. One thing I would, I always wonder is like, after like the world is like turned to this, when you first come out of that vault, do you think it would smell like, you know, it just normally does now? Like when you go outside and just like smell the air and everything like that? Or do you think it would absolutely reek because of like the f nuclear fallout residue and everything? I don't know. That'd be interesting. I feel like it'd probably just smell like outside still. I don't feel like it would be all that affected, really. But hopefully I never have to find out what uh, a post-apocalyptic world smells like. Because that doesn't sound like fun to me. Silt beans. I'll take them. I'm not sure if you can use them for cooking. I assume you can. I just kind of grab them and, and keep going. I know I said I'd end the episode after we got out of the vault, but I think we'll we'll talk to Codsworth and everything first. There's our boy. As I live and breathe. Oh, it's it's really you. Codsworth. What happened to the world? Well, sir. Well, besides our geranium still being the envy of Sanctuary Hills. I'm afraid things have been dreadfully dull around Things will here. be so much more exciting with you and Mrs. back. Where is your better half, by the by? They came into the vault. Maybe you saw them, armed, wearing strange outfits. <clears throat> Only Miss Rose's boy running around in his Halloween costume. Or a week early. I swear. The nerve of that woman leaving her brat unsupervised. Ha <laughs> not like this family, sir. You and the missus have always been such a responsible couple. Oh, where is she, by the by? She's... in a better place. Sir, these things you're saying, these, these terrible things, I, I believe you need a distraction. Yes. A distraction to calm this dire mood. It's been ages since we've had a proper family activity. Checkers, or perhaps charades. Sean does so love that game. <laughs> Is the lad uh, with you? Codsworth, listen to me carefully. Have you seen him? Have you seen Sean? Why, the, the missus had him last, remember? Oh, perhaps she's gone to the Parker residence to arrange a play day. I'm sure she'll be back with him momentarily. Sean's been kidnapped. But I'm going to find him. I'm going to get my son back. It's worse than I thought. Hmm? You're suffering from hunger-induced paranoia. Not eating properly for 200 years will do that, I'm afraid. 200 years? What? Are you? A, a bit over 210, actually, sir. Or oh, give or take a little. For the Earth's rotation and some minor dings to the old chronometer. <laughs> that means you're uh, two centuries late for dinner. <laughs> Perhaps I can whip you up a snack? <laughs> you must be famished. Codsworth, you're acting a little bit weird. What's wrong? I... I... Oh, sir, it's been just horrible. Two centuries with no one to talk to, no one to serve. I spent the first ten years trying to keep the floors waxed, but nothing gets out. 
What do you know, Codsworth? Uh, I'm afraid I don't know anything, sir. The bombs came and all of you left in such a hurry. I thought for certain you and your family were dead. I did find this holotape. I, I believe the missus was going to present it to you as a, as a surprise. But then, well, everything happened. Thank you, Codsworth. Sorry for myself. Shall we search the neighborhood together? The missus and young Sean may turn up yet. Have you seen anything dangerous? Oh, just the usual, sir. Pesky neighborhood dogs and mosquitoes. Shall I investigate? All right. Lead the way. How to serve, sir? <laughs> All right, so let's follow our boy Codsworth. And of course, it's not just going to be a, it's not going to be a smooth journey, obviously. We'll let him handle it. He just wrecks him anyway. Give me their goodies. I took care of that one. Codsworth just completely missed him. Wait. My senses are picking up movement in another house. Follow me. Codsworth's sensors were on the fritz there a little bit. He went to the opposite room. But yeah, normally I just let Codsworth handle it because he just beasts and feasts through him, slicing and dicing. Gimme. Sorry, Codsworth. I need to get it. There we go. Alright. What are you doing up there? Codsworth. Mr. Scott. The missus and young Sean. They aren't here. Come on, Codsworth. I need your help. Where can I go? Well, you could head into the city. Concord is nearby. But... The people there are mm, as put together as I am. There's still people alive in Concord? Yes, although they're a bit rough. Uh, you remember the way? Just across the southern footbridge out of the neighborhood and past the Red Rocket I Station? Here and secure the okay. Well, hopefully he's not stuck. Okay, I think he got out. Yeah, so we will do that later. I don't think there's really anything else. Because, yeah, we're just on this one at the moment. Um, well, first things first, actually. Just so I don't forget about it, because I always seem to forget about it. There we go. Alright, so now we're going to go back to our house and listen to that hollow tape that Codsworth gave us and then uh, I think we'll wrap it up there. So let's go into our inventory, miscellaneous. Patient. So patient. 
patient is a saint, my mom used to say. Look, with Sean and us all being home together, it's been an amazing year. But even so, I know our best days are yet to come. Mm, there'll be changes, sure. Things we need to adjust to. You'll rejoin the civilian workforce, and I'll shake the dust off my law degree. But everything we do, no matter how hard, we do it for our family. Now, say goodbye, Sean. Bye-bye. Say bye-bye. Come on. <laughs> Bye, honey. We love you. Yeah, that's got to be kind of brutal to hear after just experiencing basically your wife being shot like just like a few minutes ago for him anyway nice so we got a grognak comic there we go so that gives us the barbarian critical hits with unarmed and melee attacks do plus five percent damage that doesn't really do much for me because i barely do that um so now this is the book we can pick up so we got a boost to our perception here. Um, I'm wondering if maybe put it into agility or luck, I'd say. I think we'll do agility. Yep. So now our agility is up to a three now. We got a good boost from it. So, yeah, and we'll equip those just in case we need them. And I don't really think we have anything that's better to equip. So, yeah, I don't think we can uh, enter the workshop yet either, I don't think. Oh, we can. I did not think we'd be able to do that yet. So, store all our junk in there. There we go. That'll lighten the load a little bit. Might as well pick up this stuff too while we're here. That's another thing. I get so sidetracked playing this game too. Like, I'm like, oh, I'm going to stop. I'm going to stop at this point. And then I keep playing for like another like half hour. So... Yeah, I don't know how much of, like, the looting and stuff I will keep in. Because, like I said, I pick up everything. Um, so, yeah, I don't want you guys to be bogged down watching all that. Um, so. So, yeah, in future, I'll probably cut it out. Or maybe not. Maybe we'll just treat this like an actual let's play and just keep stuff in. Um, there's a fast forward button for a reason. I need to assign someone to this. Yeah. I need to assign someone to this. You need to do lots of things. Just pick up a bunch of junk. There's some cram. Pick up that stuff. All right, drop this off. There we go. All right, so I think now we will wrap it up here, ladies and gentlemen. Like I said, this is just a this will be a shorter episode. I know we're almost at the hour mark already, um, but in future I plan on doing like hour and a half, two hour length videos at a time, um, just so we can get a decent amount done. Um, and this will be a long series if you guys are interested in it. If you guys would rather I play Assassin's Creed 2 or something else, um, and you didn't comment on that poll, uh, let me know in the comment section of this video. If you guys are not interested in watching Fallout 4, let me know because if a majority of you guys aren't interested in it then obviously not gonna spend my time recording it if a majority of you guys aren't wanting it because even though i'm just having fun um uploading what i want to play 
um, I still want you guys to actually enjoy what I upload as well. So if you guys would rather I play something else like Assassin's Creed 2 or um, just keep with the sports content for right now, then just let me know in the comment section below and I will do that if a majority of you all want that. So, <clears throat> but yeah, I think we're going to wrap it up here. Let me know if all the audio and visuals and everything looks good. I'm not sure why when I was talking to Codsworth, like sometimes he would like end his own dialogue and start his next line of dialogue before finishing his previous one. Like I was skipping through it, but I wasn't. So hopefully that's not like a common thing. Hopefully that's just like for that conversation. But I guess we'll find out. Um, but yeah, mainly just let me know if, re if everything sounds good, looks good. Because um, I'm honestly really kind of nervous with recording off my actual desktop. Since I've never really done that before. So I'm hoping everything looks good. But guys... I'm going to leave it there. Hopefully you enjoyed this ep this first episode of Fallout 4. If you did, haven't done so already, hit that like button, comment, subscribe, hit that bell icon so you get notified of all my future uploads. Thank you guys so much for watching. And until next time, take care.